We often see the important role of surveillance cameras in police investigations after a crime has been committed, such as a bank robbery or an assault. Now, as Town of Four's Jim Piggott shows us, some of these same cameras could help prevent such crimes and possibly even acts of terror. Now, if you look real hard, that's me standing there below the exit sign there on your screen. Uh, this is a DOT traffic camera. Cameras like these are all over the city. And what we're finding out is these cameras like this could actually help prevent crimes. When the Boston Marathon bombings occurred, it was surveillance and other photos that helped catch the two suspects. Now there's a company that says those same cameras can help prevent crimes like that bombing from happening in the first place. It's a program that could be tied into existing surveillance cameras, and it looks for suspicious or out-of-the-ordinary behavior. That's what this video is showing. Watch as this man gets up and something is left on the bench. Police are alerted to this. This is another example of how it works. Watch this actual surveillance video at a train platform. A man puts something suspicious under a bench. The camera notices it and places a red box around it and alerts authorities. What we're trying to do is we're trying to identify through video feeds what anomalous behavior is occurring. If it's something out of the ordinary, then it warrants a second look and should be responded to. And it's not just packages. It highlights other odd events like this showing a car actually following a train through a tunnel and this video where someone leaves a bag unattended in all these cases police or others were notified absolutely can help prevent a tragedy it's not a magic pill in and of itself the videos out there we know that the video systems exist we asked our crime expert Ken Jefferson about this it could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing it could go either way and there are other questions that the sheriff's department has as well the cost being the big issue we're always evaluating products and software of that type and it, it absolutely we're interested in that type of stuff cost really prohibits a lot of the you know the technology from being utilized here the company tells us to outfit an existing camera with this technology could run about five thousand dollars if you had about a hundred cameras that could run close to a half million bucks most importantly of all what's the cost of a human life a human life is worth trying to save and so if there are security events that we can prevent um, such as, you know, some of the events that have occurred recently, then I think it's well worth the price. So the port and other places are looking at this new technology. Nobody here in town has decided that this is something they're going to go to, but this could be the wave of the future. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Instead of cameras, sheriffs across North Florida are asking you to use your eyes against terrorism and any other suspicious activity. This afternoon, they announced iWatch. It's a community-based program where police are asking you to look around and report anything suspicious. For example, you may see someone drawing or measuring an important building, asking questions about security or building plans and blueprints. Today, we're here to ask the citizens to become part of the team. And, and really become the eyes and ears of law enforcement in their, in their employment and in their homes and, and neighborhoods. Information on iWatch is available through the Sheriff's Department. We have a link on our website, news4jacks.com. Just look inside today's top story, today's story, under Top Stories.